My name is Michael Adamthwaite. I've been teaching here at OTM for the last several years now, and I am the instructor for the Foundations class as well as the Commercial Intensive Weekend class, and I also teach some cartoon stuff as well. Oh yeah, oh my career, wow. I have done some stuff. That was exhausting. I've done lots. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the internet has been um, good for uh, you know a, a lot of things you know and uh, for me it was one of those things that very early on in my life it was like hey there's lots out there there's lots going on there's lots of stuff I sort of grew up in theater and then you start seeing you know how everything blossoms out and then of course you just you, you become a fan of things um, as far as teaching I was actually a cadet instructor so I was in uniform and I taught different classes and things so yeah it kind of all rolled into one. I was like teaching over here had a cadet background in a military feel and then really just being in love with cartoons over here and loving performing and having a theater background all sort of mixed into one and then boom teaching and cartoons. Teaching for me is a lot about um, giving back to my community. I like to build a strong community. I like there to be as many voices as there can possibly be because we're all just telling stories and I like to think of myself as you know more of a caretaker and less of a teacher because there's so much to be derived from creating relationships and having relationships with new people there's so many stories from around the world there's so many different oh man the color palette of existence is really beautiful and rich so I really love just telling stories so for me when I get to teach cartoons it's like I get to teach storytelling when I get to teach commercials, it's like I get to teach not only marketing, but relating to people. So I really like that. I think it's um, something that just brings us all together. I think the fa my favorite thing is the stories. It is, it is the people. I love seeing that glint in someone's eye when they hear the playback and they realize, oh man, that's me, that voice, that totally alive now three-dimensional character that can really be seen and felt and heard now it, it's a real living thing you see that look in someone's eye and, and you realize for the first time they may have just created life and they may have just done something for the first time that they've never done before I really like that because you can see the playfulness and the joy just come alive in someone it's like welcome to the sandbox oh well I have a I have a very uh, fortunate position. Um, I've been the voice of Jay for Lego Ninjago for the last ten or so years, and uh, yeah, Jay's pretty cool. You know, he's basically just like a high pitched kind of like fast talking mouth of lightning version of myself, which is kind of like you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm mostly laid back, but it was really cool to get cast as this character because all these years um, playing Jay has has just been so much fun, you know, being the voice of, uh, you know, reason, that's a serious job, being the voice of, you know, uh, wisdom, that's another job, but being the voice of comedy, that's, that's really easy. Michael tip number one, come prepared to have fun. This is an incredibly uh, creative environment, there's a lot of support, it's a safe space for people to just come here and make mistakes. Uh, I like to say, you know, um, there's no such thing as a bad voice, just a voice that hasn't been bought yet. So that's where we come to hone our craft and create that sense of confidence and skill where um, eventually we can, yeah, like I say, we, we pull a check, we get on a show and we start working. So that's what we do. Come have fun.